Hello everyone and welcome back, Dom here and on this video I'm going to show you how you can start creating your own custom drum kits inside Cubase with one of the most awesome drum plugins around, Groove Agent. So in order to begin, we need a fresh instance of Groove Agent SC5. In this case, I'm using Groove Agent SC5, which is included in Cubase because I know quite a few of you guys are going to have Cubase, so you know you can use it straight away. But if you have the full version of Groove Agent and you're using another DAW or you're using Cubase and you have the full version of Groove Agent, all these things that I'm going to show you today apply, and you have actually quite a few more options to play with. So Let's start. In my opinion, Groove Agent is one of the most powerful, most straightforward and faster drum machines around. And I'm talking about virtual instruments, right? Um, why? Because, I mean, I've used many drum machines. I love, I have Machina, I love this, and quite a few other ones. But I found that sometimes other drum machines tend to be very slow. They take a long time to load stuff, then there's a few bugs here and there. I wasn't very happy with some other solutions that I was using in the past. Let me show you how quick and easily you can build very, very cool drum kits in Groove Agent, okay? So the first thing we need to find our samples. If you have some samples inside your Cubase project, you just drag and drop them into the cells, and job done. Now, what I tend to do most of the time is that I want to take advantage of samples that I've recorded or I want to take advantage of sample libraries that I have, that I've purchased. So what I do is I actually go here, I open the load panel and right here you can find, of course, all your kits. You know, you can load your kits, you can load instruments that are included inside Groove Agent SC or if you have any of the expansions or the full version of Groove Agent you will have more right there but if you want to use your own samples that you have on your hard drive all you need to do is go to browser and here you can find all your hard drives all your folders so you can navigate very very easily and you can find the samples that you have the other very cool thing is that you can set up favorite folders so you don't need to go through all your documents and your movie files and all these things you can just set up your favorites here and as you can see I've set up a couple of folders uh, this is basically my folder that contains all my sample libraries and these are some of them that I use a lot of times so I have them in my favorites. If I click on this for example you will see that I have my Akai samples and I can audition them straight away. Okay, if I want to make this folder a favorite, I can just go here and add this folder to my favorites. Now let's start creating a drum kit, right? So what I need to do is I want to find, let's say, kick drum. I like this one, it's, it's nice and tight. Let's drop it into our C1 cell, okay? And now I can immediately play it on my MIDI keyboard. Okay, perfect. Now I can do the same for the snare. Let's go for the snare, find a snare. I like this one. Let's try and create like a nice 80s drum kit, okay? I'm going to place this on D, okay? And you can keep going like this. Maybe you want to add some hi-hats. Let's add a hi-hat, maybe, let's see. Let's add this hi-hat on F sharp, okay? and maybe this one on A sharp one. So now I can immediately go and play. That's great, that's really basic. I'm pretty sure that most of you guys knew about all these things already, but have you been using them? Let me know in the comments down below. You can do so much more than this, okay? Let's say I want to layer this kick drum. Okay, I can actually have more than one samples on one pad, right? So if I go here and I go to my 808 samples in this case, let's find another kick drum. This is nice. So I want to layer it. How do you do this? You just drag 
and basically all the pads have different drop points, right? If you want to add a sample, you just go here, see the plus symbol? You go like this, and you let it go. Now, both samples are on the same pad, right? Let's see. Now, they don't play at the same time. Why is that? Now, here's where Groove Agent becomes really powerful. When you have multiple samples in one cell, you have quite a few options. You can say, I want the trigger mode to be according to velocity. So what happens then is that if you play a soft velocity, in this case, see I have these two samples here that I just dropped. Low velocity is gonna trigger this sample. And how do I know? Because when I select it, you will see that this will play from velocity zero to 63, okay? And this one will play from 64 to 127. So Groove Agent does the job for you basically, okay? So soft velocities, loud velocities, okay? Now this is great, especially if you have multi-samples with snares, with hi-hats, even with kick drums. This is great because you can just tailor your velocities the way you want them. And if you want to change them, you just go here and you just drag this and you set your velocity split points. Very, very cool and very easy. But in this case, I want to layer those samples. Before I go there, though, I want to show you the other options. We have round robin. This will play the sounds one after the other. Okay, and then we have random and random exclusive. So this is these are many different modes. Look it up. But the most important ones that I use when I'm creating custom electronic drum kits is layering. Okay, I like to layer things. And I like to layer kind of vintage sounds with modern sounds, okay? So I have this 808 and this Akai sample. Let's see. See? Now the play both at the same time. Now, this is great, but we can do more now. Maybe I want to tweak just the 808 sample, okay? How do you do this? It's all here. These two buttons are your friends. Basically, I can change the volume, okay? I can change the panning, that's all good. But what if I want to do this per sample? I can change this and this way I'm only editing the selected sample, okay? And uh, now I can start tweaking every sample individually, okay? So if I go here to my 808, I can turn it up. Now, if for some reason it also edits this sample, see, Groove Agent sometimes warns you that there's some automation there. If that happens for you, I'll show you the solution. Just go to Options, go to Automation, and just remove all automation, okay? Go Yes, and now it should be working just fine. Okay, so now I'm tweaking just the Akai sample, and this is my 808. And now I can change the pitch of just my 808. Very nice. Now, I can add a pitch envelope if I want to. I can go and add filters, amp envelopes, all these little things that make the sound even more personal. But I can also go and say, you know what? I want to edit this sample, okay? Let's see. Just keep the low end maybe, or maybe I want to get rid of the beginning. Or maybe I want to go to my Akai and just get rid of this sharp attack. Or tune it. So now let's go to my snare and let's say I want to add this 808 snare. And now I can just go ahead and layer them. And maybe I want to have the 808 just for the beef, just for the low end. I can go ahead and go to my 808 and go to my filter, maybe I want to solo it as well, and add a nice low cut filter. And now we have a beefier snare. And what else I can do? I can probably go and filter out my the low end from my Kai, okay? So I can go like this and set this to a high pass filter in this case. And again, difference between this and without the 808. 
okay? You can layer and layer. And what else do I like to do? For the hi-hats, sometimes I like to go ahead in the pitch and just randomize it a tiny bit. Check it out. By the way, if you want Groove Agent to follow your MIDI keyboard, so if you play a note, you can just activate the MIDI follow option right here. And now it will follow the keys that you play on your keyboard, okay? So let's go to my hi-hats, and in this case, I'm going to randomize the pitch a little bit. I add just a tiny bit of amount there. Just a tiny bit, 2%. Now, another thing that's, uh, that's a very, very, very obvious trick that you need to know when it comes to Groove Agent is that sometimes you want to have, for example, hi-hats not to play at the same time. So you don't want a close hi-hat to play at the same time with an open hi-hat. And this is one of the most asked questions when it comes to Groove Agent. So let me show you how you do this. It's actually very simple. You grab this, okay? Now if I play them, you will see that it's like... Okay, we don't want this. So how do you change that behavior. Well, all you need to do is select both of them, hit Control or Command on the Mac, and now all we need to do is set them to the same exclusivity group. So, it's right here. In the main page, you go here, where it says Exclusive, and we set these both to 1. And now, they cannot play at the same time. When you hit the close hi-hat, the open hi-hat will stop. So, see? And then we can, of course, let's pan them a little bit, like that. Now, another thing that I like to do sometimes is to change the playback quality. I like to turn it to vintage or turntable. This will give you a nice grit. Okay, so... And another trick that I like to do when I am creating custom drum kits is I like to take the snare that I just created, copy that pad, and paste it on another pad, okay? Paste it here, and then I change the course a little bit, okay? Like this, just a tiny bit, okay? Like that. And then you have two versions of the same snare, so you can do left and right hits. Now, another thing that I like to do is I like to color code my pads. And that's extremely easy. You just right click and let's say that our kick drums, we want them to be red. My snares, I'm just control clicking or command clicking. And I maybe I want to make them green. And then my hi-hats, you get the point. I like to keep things nice and neat. You know, I can reverse stuff. You know, all these things very, very quickly. It's super easy to do all these things. Now, let's talk about effects. How do you add effects to your tracks? Before I tell you about effects, I want to tell you that it's very easy to root things with Groove Agent. Let's say, for example, you want to have the kick drum with different processing, the snares with different processing, and the hi-hats with different processing. Is that hard? It's not. Let me show you. So, all you need to do is go to your cells. Okay, let's say I want to take my snares. And now, I'm going to send these snares to Agent Bus 2. Okay, I'm going to send my kick drum to Agent Bus 1. And I'm going to send my hi-hats to Agent Bus 3. That's it. And now you're going to say, okay, Dom, that's great, but... Where do I see this? You just go to Mixer, right here. And as you can see here, we have the agent. And you will see that now, bus one is my kick drum, bus two is my snare, and bus three are my hi-hats. Now I can balance them if I want to, okay? I can go like this and balance them. So I can change the volume. I can pan them left and right, but I can also add effects now. So maybe I want to go for my snare and add a nice reverb, for example. Okay, let's go and add reverb. And I'm going to go tail. I'm going to change the shape a little bit. Let's see what we have. Okay. 
And if I want to, I can add this as a reverb insert or I can add it as a send, okay? Let's say I want to go here and maybe on my snare, instead of a reverb, I want to add an envelope shaper, okay? Let's enhance the attack a little bit. Nice. Now I can go to my auxiliary sense, and as you can see, we have four auxiliary buses. I can say this one is going to be my reverb. And let's change the settings a little bit. This we leave it at 100%, right? Now, if I go to agent, I can send any of my buses to these send effects. For example, reverb, snare. Maybe a tiny bit on the kick and a little bit on the hi-hats. And maybe I want to add a tiny bit of EQ on the kick drum, maybe the graphic EQ, and let's add a little bit at 60 hertz. Nice, and now let's see what we have. Okay, and now I can also go to my master Okay, or to my kits, because that's the signal flow. We have the agent, the auxiliary, we have the kits, uh, which is the entire drum kit, and then the master. Let's say for my kit, I want to go and add a tape saturator, right? Maybe I want to saturate those drums, you know? And this is how you add effects, basically. So you have effects for your buses, you have effects as auxiliary effects, and you have, so scents, and we have kit effects and your master effects. So a lot of routing flexibility before you even get into Cubase, right? And then if you want to send all these lovely buses out into the Cubase world, all you need to do is go to agent and see where it says bus one. Okay, right now we have one output. I can go here and say, instead of going to the kit mix, go to output two, and this one to output three, and this one to output four. And as you can see, these channels are already created inside Cubase. So now, now I can immediately go to my Cubase mixer, and have everything as multi-tracks. Super, super useful, but there's some more stuff that's very cool, and this is the MIDI effects, right? So let's check out the MIDI effects. Let's grab this snare, and I'm going to activate the rudiments here, okay? Now I can create flams, check it out. And this is super cool. You know, I can change the timing. Change the dynamics. Humanize them a little bit. I can change it to drag. Okay, rough, roll. I can do buzzes. Okay, really, really cool stuff. And let's go for this snare and activate a MIDI delay. And I can change the pitch. So you can imagine if you automate these things, how cool this can become. So when you're done creating your drum kit, there's one little step to go and that's exporting it because you want to use it again and again and again. That's what I do most of the time. So all you need to do is go here. Maybe you want to rename your kit. And all I need to do now is right click here and say export kit with samples. Now all you need to do is select a location, select the name of the preset if you haven't done so already, and then you can tag it, you know, you can say it's drums, uh, the character is um, analog, modern, old, you know, so on and so forth. It's always good to tag those things so that you can find the sound very easily once you start building your own sounds. And then Groove Agent is going to save the preset with the sample so you can share it with other producers that use Groove Agent as well. 
and that's pretty cool. So from start to finish, you can basically start creating your own drum kits and you don't have to do it over and over again every time. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I hope that now you're ready to go and create your own custom drum kits with Groove Agent SC. Of course, it goes without saying that if you have Groove Agent, the full version, all these things that I showed you today apply and you have even more options. You have decompose, you have quite a few cool things there. So, you know, go to town with it. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful or entertaining, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, make some great grooves, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.